L G B T Q A plus. This is the acronym most commonly used to describe individuals who are, in some way, shape, or form, divergent from the straight, cisgender, monogamous person. While there are a number of terms in there, when you break the acronym down, it's pretty easy to see what's going on. L is for lesbian, or women who are attracted to women. G is for gay, or men who are attracted to men. B is for bisexual, or people who are attracted to multiple genders. Not two, but we'll get to that in a bit. T is for transgender, or people who identify as a gender other than their birth gender. A is for asexual, or individuals who don't experience any kind of sexual attraction, or experience limited sexual attraction. The plus represents anything not under the previously mentioned banners, and that's that. Wait a second, I missed one. I missed Q! Q means queer, and it's at the heart of this video. Queer is a label with a long history, and a very contentious one, but in recent years it's become more common, and today, many individuals use it as their primary means of identification. Queer is a Scottish word that migrated into the English language through the north of England. Originally meaning strange, it can still be heard in the Yorkshire expression, there's nought so queer as folk, meaning, there's nothing as strange as people. It came to Scotland from the Low German word queer, or off-center, which itself evolved from queer, perverse or odd, from the Old High German twer, oblique, finally originating in the Proto-Indo-European root turk, to twist. The word first came into usage in the more modern sense in 1922, though it was used once in 1894 in a letter, and was used to describe homosexual males. A queer man was a man attracted to other men. Eventually, this was shortened to a noun form, a queer, in 1935. Prior to 1980, queer was used as a pejorative meant to insult or deride members of the LGBTQA community. In 1990, New York Pride began to use it to refer to themselves, while in 1994, queer studies was officially recognized as a field. But what does it mean? Simply put, queer means whatever the person using it feels it means. That's confusing, I know, so I'll try to clarify. While a woman who is attracted to women can easily describe herself as a lesbian, or a man who was born in a woman's body can describe himself as a trans man, some people have a harder time describing themselves. Maybe they don't have a gender at all, or they're attracted to people in a way not usually included in the traditional sexual-asexual dynamic. For example, demisexual people are attracted to people only after forming a strong emotional connection. People with multiple partners don't really fit into any one category, because monogamy is implied or assumed for many identities. At the end of the day, queer means any identity that is beyond a simple, straight, cisgendered, monogamous experience. For some people, Queer is a label free from the commercialization that has been associated with the rest of the LGBTQA movement. While the LGBTA rainbows have appeared everywhere from water bottles to bumper stickers and license plates, the queer label remains relatively untouched. For members of social movements opposed to this capitalist take on gay civil rights, the queer identity is a perfect term. This isn't to say that anyone who is not straight, cisgendered, and monogamous is, is queer. Quite the opposite, in fact. Many people are proud of their identities, and while they may fit into the queer banner, they themselves are not queer. It's also important to remember that, for many older members of the LGBTQA community, queer is a word fraught with unpleasant memories, and to them, it is an insult. To an outside observer, this might seem needlessly complex. There is, after all, a plus, and as I'm sure you noticed earlier, an asterisk on transgender, which refers to agender, non-binary, and you guessed it, gender queer folks. And sure, there are other ways for people to express identity, but for some, queer is the best way to describe themselves, and that's okay. All you can do is ask people what they prefer to be called, and respect what they tell you. Thank you for watching, and remember, when in doubt, just ask.